Hello, Internet Lords and Ladies, Boys and Girls, and welcome to Steel's Nuclear Throne Guidebook Episode 107. So, we are going to play as Eyes today. There you go. And we're going to get the insane double loop run right now. We're going to get just really good luck with weapons and mutations, and everything's just going to go fine. Grenade launcher is not a bad start. This ensures that we will hit our turtle level, which means that we could get something great like a Gatling Slugger or an auto crossbow early. Which is great because that means I might be able to have more chances to get mutations that make those better. Well, a Gatling Slugger not so much, but because I really don't, I don't know, maybe it would be good with shotgun shoulders if I ever tried to do that. Whoopsie, didn't get that ammo chest. Rabbit paw, that's excellent. Best man on the force. Assault rifle is like exactly what I wanted from this. And there we go, laser pistol. I think we stick with the assault rifle since we have almost max ammo for it. And then we'll just play it safe for the rest of this level. Nice, still sitting in max bullets. bring that guy into that explosion. Draw him into his death. Don't worry about that. Oh, the snipe. That's good. Alright, we'll take Bloodlust. Got our ammo, got our health. It's good, good starting balance here. Big green rats really scare me when there's multiple. They can just flood you with rats if you're not mowing them down quick enough. Alright. Maybe it says pick another level. Not pick. Squeeze in. Wow, I can't believe he has so much health. Alright, we'll take that slugger once I get to the fabled turtle level. So we'll come back and get that. Don't have much ammo for the slugger, but that's okay. It's gonna be all right. We got rapid pause, so that'll make our drops go up a little bit because we're low on ammo for that. And we will take patience because I don't like any of those mutations. It was a big weapon chest for some reason. So, at the very least, we got more auto. I mean, we got more ammo for this slugger. I don't think the auto sh uh, shoddy pairs well with the assault rifle because. kind of makes you, like, tear through a lot of ammo. So, I think it's better to have one thing that's, like, precise and then another thing that's just kind of spammy. Instead of both spammy because, like I said, it just makes you tear through ammo. So, there you go. Tactically using right click only when it'll actually help and not just drawing in enemies towards me mindlessly. There's an ant on my microphone. That is unsettling. Because if there's an ant on my microphone, there may be ants in other spaces in my room, which is not good considering I'm moving out soon. There are a lot of snipers that I cannot shoot. God, if they would just move out of my fucking way. I'm missing out on so many good things because of these jerks. At least we're sort of safe right now. Okay, now we're pretty safe. 
We've managed to move forward slightly. Oh god, this assassin. Jesus. These assholes, I swear. Shovel. No thanks. Man. Man, oh man. Alright, um, these are all really bad. Stress is alright. <sighs> but I think I'll take bolt marrow, even though we don't have any bolt weapons, because I find that it's better than stress. Just personally. I know it doesn't immediately benefit me. Holy shit, there are so many of you jerks over here. Get out. Leave this place. So get like get out of my face. All right, seeker pistol. jerk. Well, that sort of worked. So we'll take scare your face, because it's good. <laughs> because I find it to be more useful than, I don't even remember what those other mutations were. Maybe there was eagle eyes. I don't really know. Gatling Slugger, there we go. So, just like I said, we'll get a Gatling Slugger and then everything will just be fine. Everything will turn up Millhouse. I'm excited. So, we could take Second Stomach or we could take our Throne Butt. I think we take our throne, but because we're kind of doing all right on health, we don't have strong spirit or anything. I kind of want to get this gravy train rolling. You know what I mean. Boom, baby. Cluster launcher, no thanks. Okay, that's just rude. Kinda wish I had stuck in the stomach now. Don't you? Son of a bitch. Cause I keep scratching my head. I don't know why. It's like my new thing now, it's like when I start doing bad, I just itch my head. It, you know what it is? It's because it's just the slightest bit hot in my room. And when things are, when you get just a tiny bit hot, you get itchy. And that's, it's weird, okay? But I don't, I'm not a big fan of this habit, either. You know, for a second, I knew that that was the revolver, but because I saw the ER at the end, I was like, oh, the eraser? I love that weapon. And then I was like, why would there be an eraser there? How dumb am I? So here's like literally the same build we had last time. Only this time, it's gonna go better. I'll take Plutonium Hunger, slightly better than our Telekinesis. We're getting ammo, in my opinion. Although telekinesis can kind of get everything on the screen, but slower. What you got for me? Oh, one of these. That was like a weird delayed reaction on that guy. Um. Thanks. Nice. We will take patience because I don't like sharp teeth, long arms, or 
Shotgun shoulders. There, now I actually know why I took it. <laughs> they each have their uses, really. And it's just, they're, it's just so rare that I... That there's a mutation that I want less than them. I prefer ammo and health, not weird gimmicks that kind of work, i.e. sharp teeth. So we'll just waltz on over here, salt slugger, sure. Still got more ammo than the grenade launcher, not to mention it's way safer. And we'll take rabbit paw and second stomach. That is a pretty good setup. That was like a ton of ammo that I just went through. Really? Double max shells? Well, why would you give me max shells twice? What? Like, how? I thought the game was forced to give me a different ammo drop. It's not like I walked over it with the uh, Assault Slugger. It gave me two ammo drops in a row. It's just not fair. Oh, Jesus. Took a little damage there. You know what? I think I'm going to take the Super Crossbow. A little danker. I like that the ambient tracks start randomly now. I can definitely hear it. Oh god. Get out. No, I said get out. Jesus. Oh, great. That's right, max HP, nerds. What are you gonna do better? Ooh, energy hammer. Okay, I want that more than the super crossbow. Lucky shot could have been good there. I'm actually kind of deciding in my head whether I do want it more than the energy hammer. I mean, whether it's like the assault rifle that I want more. So, trigger fingers would be really good with this. This is like one of the only weapons in the game that really, really benefits from trigger fingers. How is everything dead already? That was like nothing. Alright, Rhino Skin's a good pick here since we do have second stomach. Am I already at three fucking rhino skin right now? There are so many enemies at the beginning of this level. This is not cool. You make me pick between these great weapons. Alright. We got this now. Two really slow firing weapons. So, like, trigger fingers is essential now. I hope I didn't just accidentally skip over trigger fingers when I took Rhino Skin. Hopefully, I'm not that dumb. We have a mutation, 
Please trigger your fingers. Damn. Alright, well, could take long arms. I know bolt marrow with the heavy crossbow is really good. However, long arms I think it's just gonna be better for us. An extra range is unbelievable. You would not believe it. It is not believable. These crazy tips you would not believe. Doctors hate her, etc. Ad nauseum. You get it. Oh, I'm not ready to go yet, Mr. Officer. Oh, shit. Third time's a charm. Here we go. This one's the real one. I can feel it. It better be, because... We're gonna get to loop two. I don't really have much time. I'd like to be back asleep, if that's okay. The only reason I got up was to change the thumbnail on the video that finally finished processing for update 86. We'll take throne butt over eagle eyes, boiling veins, and sharp teeth. Sharp teeth is pretty much the bottom of the tier list, unless I'm playing as, like, rogue or rebel. Why rogue, you say? There's a lot of enemies on screen that she's playing. You know, there's extra IDPD. So, it's serious business. God, I just, I really want to play hard mode. And I feel like I'm not even going to get to experience it or showcase it. Because I've never been good at loops. But how am I supposed to get good at loops? Oh, great. There's another ant on my keyboard. This is, uns this is extremely unsettling. I've murdered that ant, though. Um, we do have telekinesis. So we can pretty much stop all bullets mid-air, which is cool. Well, except for big bandits bullets. Oh, did you see that juke straight through him? And now I'm self-conscious that there's going to be, like, ants on my legs while I'm not looking. God damn it. If you don't know what fire ants are, then uh, you live in a wonderful part of the world, and I wish I lived there. Because fire ants are the worst thing ever. Um, they are a... They're just terrible. They're the worst. Really? That didn't open that up. Oh, goodness. Oh, we have back muscle. I was like, why does it look like we have just so low energy when I definitely got at least two drops? Ah. Oh, God. Really, the third time is the charm. This has to be the run. Please. It looks embarrassing that I can't even beat regular mode and get to the throne regularly when I'm trying to get to loop 2 and I want to play hard mode like it's like oh well obviously if you can't get to loop 2 you're not ready for hard mode it's like well it could at least serve as kind of practice you know ooh B music I like the B music here because it's, you can hear the ambient track better, so like the raining. It sounds calmer, it's nicer. Whereas the, uh, the regular track here has, there's a lot of bass, and so you can't really hear the, the kind of dull noise of the ambient track. Plasma gun, why not? Oh, well, that's useless, but okay. That's interesting. The ambient track goes away. Oh, okay. See, I, I heard that it said that it fades away when you go to the mutation screen, but I didn't know it went all the way away. Whatever. 
Please don't summon the International Police Department. Uh, nope. I have way more ammo for this. Wow, we have a lot of energy. Hopefully we can get a plasma rifle. It's much better than the plasma gun. Oh my gosh, so many cars. So little time. Um, flare gun. No, not quite. Fortunately, the plasma gun does not... Oh wait, it is automatic. I thought it wasn't. Wow. Color me surprised. Color me an idiot. I don't know. I didn't know that. We'll just drag these guns along for no reason. I'm told that the throne definitely exists, so... We had disbeliefs before. Rescinded them. Doesn't really look like we're hitting much here. But I assure you everything is going according to plan. Rubs hands together maniacally. Oh, um, a plasma rifle. Alright, second stomach. Do your dirty work. I can't believe, I feel like we just spammed the shit out of that gun. Okay. Now we're definitely gonna spam the shit out of that gun. That is how you go through 36 ammo. And not get a single freaking ammo drop. That's actually absurd. Uh, laser rifle or plasma rifle? I think the plasma rifle is a little better because of the explosions at the ends. So. There's that. At least we got 20 ammo, though. Oh, God. Thanks for the health. Boom, baby. You know, I, I used to really hate the plasma weapons, but now I understand how good they are. Like, plasma cannon is just insanely good. And... I really like the plasma g rifle. Plasma gun is still kind of shit. Just because it... The projectiles are so slow, and it fires so slow. It's like, you don't get enough output, really. But the cannons are great. Plasma cannons are great. Super plasma cannons just kind of ridiculous. It's great for killing nuclear throne. And if you have like lucky shot or like rabbit paw and crown of blood and <laughs> oh, not taking the nuke launcher. Crown of blood, like plutonium hugger and rabbit paw, then it just like wrecks. Take strong spirit, definitely. Um, is this our, uh, 5-3? Yes, this is our... I'm just not gonna complete the sentence. Um, come on, little hunter. Okay, you're gonna cheat? That's cool, I guess. Cheater? Oh, no, 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 no. No. Please die. Okay, we got him. Oh, watch out. Okay. Well, that out of the way. Let's get back to your regu regularly scheduled um, enemy blowing up. So, this is the farthest we've made it in three runs. We do have our thrown butt. This is going to be like a marathon episode, isn't it? Please just let this be like a hyper rifle or something. A shovel. Alright, well maybe I can get like... 
you know, laser brain or something. That would be really good with this plasma rifle. Okay, you need to die immediately. Or you start causing problems. Ooh, yes. I'm surprised we don't have more ammo for that. From all the present chests I feel that we've gotten. Interesting. It takes exactly four bolts. Or three. Uh, I don't really know which one of those I want. We didn't get ammo though, which sucks. You should be able to get like a big ammo chest if you accidentally skip ammo. Never skip ammo day. Oh Jesus. of my way. Nice. Finally opened up a present chest <laughs> with the uh, end of the level thing. Ugh. Come on, laser brain me. You know you want to. That was close. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Super Bazooka again. Okay, well, I'll bring it with me, and uh, if we end up having that opportunity, I will definitely take it down. Just having another throne fight will be great, because then I can just go and switch it out. There's no way I'm using a pop gun against a throne. There we go. Well, now I have my choice. Okay, no laser brain yet. We could get it after the throne fight. Slucker. Wow. Alright, so fine, we'll take this super bazooka and then we'll take that. And then we'll just tear through the throne, I guess. We get 10 shots, unfortunately not another one. We don't have plutonium hugger either, but I do have my throne butt. So I should be able to just push away any bullets that get even close to coming towards me. Except I don't know if it moves the big balls away. Maybe it used to, but it got nerfed because that was too OP. Uh, either way, I need to stand very far back. Oh, he is so close to death. And destruction. Nice. Give me all those ammos, though. Thanks. Um. I wonder, should I get that auto crossbow or just stick with the super bazooka? I mean, I feel like I'm just gonna get myself murdered with the super bazooka, so we'll go back to the auto crossbow. But begrudgingly, mind you. And before this run goes on another like 12 minutes because yeah we'll take patience because i still want that laser brain <laughs> and before this run goes on another 10 minutes because uh, i end up going and beating that throne Yay, max health. And halfway to level 9. Okay, Bolt Marrow's pretty good. Nice thing about the IDPD is that most of the time they can't really do anything as soon as they spawn, so... You can just kind of murder him really quick. Lightning rifle, huh? 
No thanks. I would love a plasma cannon if you could swing it, baby. Alright, so we're definitely going to take monster style. Is there anything else in this level? Nope. Okay, good. Alright, speed, speed time, go. Monster style, get out of here. Fun, 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 fun. <laughs> what a crazy, crazy tip. Bolt mirror doesn't really work if you're not even shooting in like the general direction of something. You have to at least try to be good at the game, not let the game play itself. Oh god. Don't cheat. Cheaters. Oh, come on, how close are we? Alright, we got him. We got him. Ooh, four rats. Oh, nope, you need to die. Thanks, see ya. Nerds. Pussy. Got him. <laughs> Alright. Still have strong spirit. Obviously, we're gonna take Crown of Blood and then die immediately. Maybe I just shouldn't have taken Crown of Blood. That way, I'd actually have a chance of getting to Throne Part 2. That is like really unsettling to not have him do his intro. I'm so not used to that. Alright. Sort of getting back up there. I did lose strong spirit in that fight. Quadruple machine gun. No thanks. I am so worried that a super elite shielder is going to show up. Super elite shielder. You know what I mean. Damn, how am I staying so high up on this ammo? I feel like I'm just tearing through my ammo. Welcome to my ammo. Oh, come on. Who is really left? I mean, really. Oh, yeah. Monster style. Wow. You can really feel the effects of that. Just had to check my bullet status with that uh, quadruple machine gun. Now, the great thing... The other great thing about plasma weapons is that they have bullet stun. Wow. That like totally nerfs all those enemies. That is great. It, it has like hit stun while it's dealing all the damage from the explosions, which is really, really good. Wow. Monster style is... What a fantastic passive. Like, you don't even realize it. Like, how useful it is. Holy shit. Look at how close they are. Where'd he go, idiot? Freaking idiot. Okay, super slow down time. Is that a Gatling Slugger? No, it's a Golden Shotgun. Not even close, dude. Got him. Easy money. Wow. That fight went surprisingly well. <sighs> Absolutely tore through our... Plasma ammo, though. He tried to sneak a shot off at the end. Did you see that? What a jerk. Okay. Wow, I I can't believe we killed Ball Mom that easily. <laughs> Is this thing on, or are we really recording? I never get this kind of luck in recordings. I can't believe that an un laser-brained uh, plasma gun is really serving you this well. Gotta say, though, monsters, monster style is, like, is so good. 
my Kudathon, right? Okay, I'm tempted by this Ultra Grenade Launcher, but not as much as I would like to be. I would take an Ultra Crossbow, which sounds obvious, but the Auto Crossbow is really good. Hey, we got the B music again. I just realized. Ultra Grenade Launcher again. Why does the game do that? That's really cool that you get the B music again when you loop. I don't know if that's on purpose or if it's just like pure luck, but I feel like it's not pure luck. Like, I feel like that's kind of how it's supposed to be. Just get me out of here. Max HP, you're great. Still at base max ammo, so I'm pretty happy. Oh, we gotta deal with these nerds. Oh, they're too easy. I'm a little concerned. Oh, Jesus. Save. Me. No! Wow, this was like a really good level for not having to deal with Big Dog at all. It's a Devastator, so at least we got max energy. Ultra <laughs> crossbow, I see. Wow, that was really good for our ammo. Damn. Actually, I think I really like this combo. I think I'm just gonna stick with it for now. I really don't see any reason to change. Bolt marrow auto crossbow's working pretty well. I even think that the auto heavy crossbow would be too much. Which is kinda nuts, because it's really good. Alright, so Hyper Crystal's obviously somewhere. I, I I don't understand the Hyper Crystal fight, man. So is that dude just like a scout or something for the Hyper Crystal? Like, he just goes out and nukes you and then you just gotta come find the Hyper Crystal? Like, I don't get it. Lightning Cannon, no thanks. I don't know why, but those things always seem to be in groups. Hyper Crystal. There's that new art. Looks pretty dope. Gotta say, I love all the intro art. It's so cool. Wow, monster style is so good. Oh, might help if I'm not hitting walls with this stuff. Huh? Get pushed away, bitch. This is going to take a ton of ammo. I think all those crystals should be guaranteed to drop ammo. That would be really cool. It would be better for your ammo. It's kind of like Big Dog, how Big Dog's a really big bullet sponge, but then it doesn't really matter because you've got, like, all of his stuff drops ammo, so you could fight him forever if you needed to. Well, theoretically. I don't even think I would take Seeker Shotgun over this, because I like not having to aim. I mean, not having to pull the trigger a lot. I think that it tends to cause a lot more screen shake than is necessary. When the weapons aren't auto-firing. It's like Flambeer's played the game before and they know what you're gonna have to go through as a player. It's crazy, right? Someone that actually knows their game. So we're still kind of not so hot on ammo. Probably because I keep pounding bolts straight into the wall. But, uh, life must go on. 
Oh, that's the end of the level. So obviously there's like one fish right there that I can't even see because of monster style, which is hilarious. So we have like a ton of energy all of a sudden. I don't know where that came from, but I will gladly empty it on these fools. Wait, <laughs> panic. Golden plasma gun. Oh jeez, there's four now? I thought there would just be two. Well, what happens when I go to another crown vault? <laughs> is, it, is it just gonna like fill with with dudes now? I'm worried. I'm extremely worried. I think this is the exact same weapon that we killed Little Hunter with last time. Also, that thing needs to die. Oh, great. I'm pretty sure this is the exact same weapon we killed Little Hunter with last time. Obviously, it's kind of worked out for us, huh? Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. No! <laughs> No! Oh, it was so close. God damn. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please consider hitting that like button. It really does help so much. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.